When people think of Buddhist monks, they often think of meditation. And yes, this is true. A Buddhist monk's first priority is to refine his mind through meditation. However, he must also balance his own personal training with his responsibilities to the Sangha at large. The Buddha designed the Sangha community to be a spiritual family of sorts. This family supports and nurtures the development of each of its members. However, this is not merely a one-way street. Each member also has a responsibility, an obligation, and a duty to serve and give back to the family. Because without the support of the lay people, the temple, and the sangha, we, as monks, cannot exist. So how do we give back? One way is with an activity called Rabbun, which is essentially the Thai monastic equivalent of daily chores. In Thai, Rab means to receive and Bun means merit. Merit in this context means a positive, pure, spiritual energy. So Rabbun directly translates to receiving pure, spiritual energy. This is fitting because when we do Rabbun, it helps us to let go, purify our mind, and cultivate the proud feeling that comes from contributing to the community. So by giving our time and energy, we also receive merit which enriches our spiritual practice. This Rabbun can come in several forms. We put in work every day to make sure that our environment is neat and well tended. It could be small activities such as cleaning, organizing, or doing maintenance work. We clean the bathrooms. And when I say we clean the bathrooms, I mean we really clean the bathrooms. We also restock shelves, water the plants, feed the fish, Sweep the leaves, sweep the stairs, sweep the floors, we sweep, sweep, and sweep some more. And did I mention we sweep? When we're tired of that, we rake. We wipe, we polish, we scrub. I think you get the point by now. Basically, we clean and organize like there's no tomorrow. The second type of Rabun is the group Rabun. This group activity serves several purposes. The first thing is to provide us with an opportunity to move our bodies and sweat. This is how we exercise. Since we have no fancy gyms or special workout classes, it's important that we find another physical outlet to get our heart rate up and keep our bodies active and healthy. In addition to health benefits, this group Rabun also provides us with something tangible that we can work on and be proud of together. Just like building a home, we lay one brick at a time. Each day, we do the best that we can, and slowly, the final product starts to take shape. Next thing you know, you take a step backwards and get to admire the collective fruits of your labor. The feeling is priceless. A key factor with Rabun is that we do something physical every day to contribute to the community. And in this giving back, 
we're able to use the good feeling that we cultivated to support our meditation. As Buddhist monks, we understand that our physical environment is a reflection of our mind. If you clean, declutter, and organize your living space, it will automatically clean, declutter, and organize your mental space as well. It's supportive of a meditation practice. So this is why we're so diligent with the way we clean.